All right. Um, so, for lack of a better way to say this, uh, this has been a long time coming. Um, like I said during my reaction, I was thinking like a million and one things at once. Like, my brain was just not working properly, like, whatsoever at all. Um, if there is any announcement that would do this to me, it would be this. Like, it's happened before, but this is, like, the top. Um, this is going to be completely raw. Like, all my emotions are going to be poured into this. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to speak English much, but I'll, I'm going to try my very best here. Um, the amount of excitement that I have for this, well, I would say you have no idea, but that doesn't really apply here. Pretty much like 99% of people who saw this are freaking the heck out. I'm going to try not to swear either. That's going to be really difficult. Um, I have a list of topics for this, just in case I don't forget, or just in case I don't forget. See, there you go. We're already batting a thousand, I guess you could say, wink, wink. Um, yeah, let's just start this, shall we? Let's go. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think I'm just going to use the space bar for this, so, um, yeah. Yeah, this, like, they knew how to make this trailer, man. Start with the book. Start with the book, man. Um... Yeah, the Mario house. Oh, it's not even like doing it, is it? Oh, okay, that's weird. Uh, I don't know why the space bar wasn't working there. Hold on. Okay, now it's working, I guess. Um, yeah, the the Mario house here, like I couldn't believe it. I was dreaming of the day that I would see this Mario house again. Um, also, I don't have my face cam on just just because I want to see everything. There's the pipe for when you go to uh, Toad Town, but obviously there's no Toad Town in a Thousand Year Door, but yeah. Um, this Mario house, I cannot believe I am seeing again. I cannot believe I'm seeing it again. This Mario house was so, like, synonymous with this franchise. Like, with the first game, you could, like walk around in it and you could see like oh you know here's here's your stats like here's what you've done in the game so far like a completion thing like a list of things that you could do right um star pieces and was record power bounce a thing on there too i don't know anyways um yeah star pieces are gonna be a thing again oh my lord um anyways yeah like in the first game you could, like, walk around, and you, you could go on the very back. You could ground pound, and you could see Luigi's Diary and stuff. Like, this house, man. Like, I know in Thousand Year Door and in Super Paper Mario, this house was only seen in the intros. I get that. But still, like, I, I loved seeing them every time I would play the game over again. Like, I would just love seeing them at the start. Um, Yeah, seeing as how this is a thing again... I really hope that one day um, we could, like, walk around in that house again. God, I can't believe it. It was like Mario RPG. Oh, instead of calling it the Pipe House, they're calling it the Mario House. Oh, it's referencing this. Too bad we're never getting those games again. Oh, look at this. Thousand Year Door remake. Okay, anyway. <coughs> okay. I was losing my mind. Yeah, Paracarry. Like, the moment I saw the Mario House, I'm like, yeah, there's Paracarry. I, I, yeah. My mind, I, I couldn't even believe it. Um, also, the text sound for characters talking. They're doing this with Paper Mario. They've never done it before with this game, at least. Like, the first game, the second game, the third game. Um, I think Sticker Star and Colors. <sighs> Paper Mario had the different, like, text sounds. Right? Like, oh, my brain is drawing a blank right now, but I I know that they've done this before, where different characters had a sound effect, had different sound effects for their text. I can't believe this game is doing that now. It's so good. And the, the, the picture frame in that background, dude, all the original partners, man, they didn't forget. They never forgot. They never did, I guess. I mean, 
they put all those on the uh, Nintendo Switch Online for your profile before they removed it forever, I guess. But anyway, I have that as my profile image, the original Paper Mario sprite. I'm like, I'm not letting that one go. Yeah, like, look at that. Yeah, Peach has her own. Like, I, I think everyone has their own, pretty much. Their text sound. It's so good. Um, like, and the Goombas and the the Mousers, or, w w sorry, what whatever they're called. The, the rats. Oh, God. Oh, wow, and even on the, on the wall, you can see a more detailed, like, wanted poster. You see the, th that looks like a Cooper with a cowboy hat or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it. But yeah, it's a thing that exists. I can't believe it. Like, this whole thing exists. It's absolutely insane. Um, also, uh, yeah, my brain is going a mile a minute nerding out about this stuff. But one of the things I was thinking in my brain when I was watching this for the first time, but I just couldn't say it because there was too much in my brain was the fact that there's no white outline on these characters. There's no white outline. I acknowledge that, but I couldn't speak it. I couldn't say it. The moment that I saw that there was no white outline, like, it's weird. Like, that was the thing that made me think, okay, this is it. One to one remake, dude. Like, there's going to be quality of life changes, of course. Like, they're going to change some things. It, it's not a remaster, it's a remake, and I'll, I'll, I'll get more into that, too. But that's the point that I'm trying to make here, is that there's no white outline. That right there speaks volumes on how serious they are about this. Because they could have given all these characters a white outline. They could have made the Goombas... The, you know, like the new Super Mario Brothers, like the generic Goombas. They could have had generic Koopa Troopas. They could have had generic Boos. But it's all one to one. Enhanced graphics, but it's one to one. We haven't seen... Okay, I gotta keep going. Uh, yes. Pedalberg. Yeah, like say for example, there's that Koopa Troopa there. Um, the Koopa Troopa on the right there. We have not seen Goombas, Koopas, Boos, all these characters in the classic Paper Mario format since Super Paper Mario, dude. Since 2007. We have not seen these designs for these characters. Absolutely insane, dude. Like, I'm used to playing Super Paper Mario and being like, oh, dang, this is the last time we've seen these designs. Not anymore. Not anymore, dude. It's it's just insane. I can't believe they're doing this. All the restrictions, like, oh, well, since Paper Mario Sticker Star, it is no longer possible to... Blah, 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 blah. Such BS, man. It's such crap. They're Like, they basically said it's impossible. That's what they basically said. Absolute nonsense. Um, yes, to find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. The design of his, uh, I don't know if you'd call this an office or what, but it is a little bit different. <clears throat> it looks a little smaller, unless I'm remem remembering wrong. And there's the book that he's reading. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, there's that thumbnail, baby. Or I don't know if I paused it exactly, but Yeah. Like, the back sprites, man. They added back sprites to everything. It looks so natural. Like, it's always been there. Well, I don't know if you'd call those sprites per se, but you know what I'm trying to say. Everyone has, like, you can look at them from the back. They're brand new. You know what? I'm just going to call them sprites, whatever. They're brand new sprites for these characters, and it looks like it's always been there, dude. You could tell someone... Yeah, those back sprites were always there. And they wouldn't be, like, none the wiser or whatever. That's how natural they look. It's insane. I'm gonna say insane, like, so many more times, I think. Ugh. And yeah, the the shadow sirens, man. The, uh, the punies. Look how reflective everything looks, man. Look at that. The soundtrack, man. 
I'm going to be like disassociating for a while <laughs> listening to it again. Now that this is real, this this whole thing is happening. There's uh, Marilyn, Vivian. What's the other one again? I forget. Yeah, like exactly like right there. The booze here, for example. Look at them. It's the exact style. Just higher quality, HD. I can't believe they did it. It's not the generic booze. It's the exact booze, man. That's what drove me over or whatever. Like that that was the thing that really got to me was the fact that they, again, like I said before, they could have used generic Goombas, generic Koopa Troopas, generic booze, all this stuff. You know, they could have taken away the female toads, but they didn't. It's all here. No white outline. It's all here. Oh, and the, the, the portrait there in the background. Beautiful. Hooktail Castle. Um, also, I don't remember this toad here. I don't know what was going through my head. Because I, I think, like, I remember looking at it. I remember looking at him. But I was looking at the background with the female toads. I was like, look at the designs. Female toads. Like, they're they're back. Like, Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story on 3DS. They got rid of female toads. They made things more generic. Like, the ratio was heavily skewed towards it being faithful. But the toads, like, any design that the toads had in those games were just generic. Whereas Mario RPG and Thousand Year Door... Both of these remakes, boom, boom, boom. They're getting all of this perfect. It's perfect. I don't see anything wrong with this. If there is something that <clears throat> is a little off, I can't find it. Someone like me not being able to find it, that's like, there you go. Um, there's the juice pub there. Oh, wait, I can have my mouse, right? Yeah. Like, it's them. It's the side characters here, but they're they're there. I don't remember him. I don't remember, speaking of which, I don't remember this toad here. I, I actually don't remember. Maybe this is new. I'm not sure. I'm not confident in that, but anyway. Um, the bandits, uh, Ralphs, I think they're called. I don't know. I forget what they're, what those things are called. Um, Madam Flurry, like, I was confident that if this game was going to be remade, like they would have had to have changed her design or something, but they didn't. Like everything, again, like I said, is one to one. Um, the punies, I don't recall they being like them being wide eyed like that when they're getting blown to the bubbles. Maybe that's the same. Maybe that's different. I can't remember. Oh my god! You know what? No. What what are those called? Uh, Dugans. Dugans. Yes, that's what they're called. I think I was just thinking of the name of the Dugan in the first game or something. I, I think that was a Dugan. Um, <clears throat> or I don't know. Maybe they're just completely different species. They, uh, My brain is th saying that they're the same species, but I, I, I guess they're not. I was really confused at that. Jeez. This is what it, this is doing to me, man. Um, anyways, moving on here, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, and Koops has his own dialogue as well, like the text sound. Um... I swear I've heard that sound effect before, and they're just re they're just repeating it over and over for his dialogue. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that that sound effect was a thing before. Um, also, this is a very like zoomed in picture of the characters. It looks like everything is layered. Like like in Photoshop, for example, you have like different layers of things. Like there's the gloves, there's part of the arm, there's the head, there's this. It looks like all of these models are constructed layer by layer. Like it's paper or something. But it's done in such a way that it's very... Like it fits. I don't know, I'm, I'm forgetting English, so... It, hey, that happens to me. You know what I mean, though. And then there's the game... Right, the Game Boy Advance. Um, so, when I was reacting to this, I'm like, Oh, look, there's a Game Boy Advance. Obviously, there's a Game Boy Advance. Like, that's what it was. Um, I'm implying that I've never played this before when I said that. But no, what I meant by that comment was 
if this game was going to be remade, I thought that would be a DS or a 3DS or something, like an updated uh, thing. But it's not. It's an actual Game Boy Advance. They kept that part. I wonder if they're going to keep the Shine Sprites for um, the partners upgrading. If they kept the Game Boy Advance, then they're... I mean, I, I can only imagine they're going to keep Shine Sprites as the currency for leveling up the characters, too. Or not leveling up, but you know what I mean, like upgrading them. Um, also, I think it would be cool if, uh, if the partners would get star points for leveling up instead of the Shine Sprites, but I don't know. I, I think that would be too big of a change. It'd be a neat change. I don't think I'd mind. I'd like it, but I think people would be like, no, that's too different. And yes, now this. So before I get to the actual battles here, let me just time this correctly. Okay, so as you know, the battle system or like the battle music for Thousand Year Door, the way it started when the curtain came down, it was dun 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 dun, -dun. and then it did dun 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 dun, but the way it started when the curtain went down, it was dun 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 dun. Here in the remake, it sounds like this when it starts. It does the Super Mario Brothers jingle. Da, 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 da. So I'm wondering if that's going to be how each battle starts or if it's just like this for the trailer. I don't know how that's going to work exactly. I don't know if the, the battle music, like the theme for the battles, I don't know if it's going to start that way. But I'd like it though. When the curtain co goes down, it's the da 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 da, and then it's the battle theme we all know and love. I mean, I, I I'd like that change. I think it'd be pretty neat. Anyway, I can't believe this is real. Um, the props, like the the, the animation. Okay, I gotta go back one more time. <laughs> Five second increment, uh, increments. So. Like, just for a split second, you saw the props laying on the floor. But look at that animation of the props going up and, like, setting up and all that. Like, I don't remember that being a thing in the original version. It's so good. It's so good. Um, seeing star points on the HUD fills me with life. You have EXP in a Paper Mario game, man. Like, it's so good. I love that. Um... Also, uh, yeah, you can see the HUD being different. That part I noticed. Um, well, I, I said look at the props, but there's more probably. Um, but yeah, I, I made that comment where Goombella's, or like, like I said Goombella, but I didn't finish my statement. Um, Goombella's health is beside Mario. Everything is just on one line. From left to right, it's just all there on one line. This, this HUD is all one line. And... I looked at the Thousand Year Door recently, and I'm like, you know what? I kind of don't like how the HUD is too, like, two rows of stuff, you know? I, I actually don't kind of like that <laughs> um, anymore after seeing this. So it, it works. It's good. Um, also, I completely forgot that five enemies can be in battle. I thought this was a new thing. But it's not. It's it's eh, it's always been up to five enemies in a battle, I believe. So, um, also the Goombas being like, "Yeah, I'll take you on." Like, look at that pose, dude. If, uh, it's all remade stuff, man. It's so good. Uh, like the Goombas are being like, "Yeah, what you got?" I love it. I love these animations. It's brand new stuff. Um. Oh my god. Like, look at the Goombas' teeth. Their mouths. Again, we haven't seen these, like, we haven't seen Goombas, Koopa Troopas, and Boos and stuff like that in this style since 2007 and, like, with Super. I can't believe it. I can't believe it exists again. Um, also, I don't know if it's just me, but is Mario and Goombella a little to the right? Like, shouldn't they be a bit more back, slightly? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. God, man, this, this reminds me of, uh... Sticker Star, like, before it was called Sticker Star, it was Paper Mario 3DS, that beta. Oh, it, it kind of exists. It, it's real again, guys. Here it is. We, we, we got it. Um, 
but yeah, there's jump, hammer, items, special, and the tactics. It doesn't look like this HUD is completely finished, though. Like, seeing the health, the flower points, the special star points and coins, that looks kind of final. But when it comes to the jump hammer items, yada, 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 that does not look finished yet. <laughs> um, also, I want to talk about how on the bottom left, where it says 50 people in the crowd, that icon is so much better. Where it shows, like, three, like, people indicating this is how many people are in the audience. That looks so much better. I always thought the icon for how many people are in the audience looks creepy as hell. So this is a welcome, welcome change. I like that. Yeah, there you go. You press the A button, you get an extra jump in. That's how it goes. I know with Sticker Star and Color Splash, and I, I, well, I, I guess Origami King as well, it's just multiple jumps. But like Sticker Star and Color Splash specifically, you, you want to stomp on one enemy, you stomp on it five times. This one, back to two, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Um, it looks like Gumbella has the defend option here. That's why she's like hunched over with her mouth, or her mouth with her eyes closed. Um, also, yeah, I, yeah, let, let's go back. There's that, yes. I don't know if I sound like a jerk here. I never really liked super guarding. I was one of those people that said like, uh, super guarding makes the game too easy. Like, cause if there's one thing about super guarding or if there's one thing about thousand year door that I really, really despised was the difficulty. It was just virtually not there. This game for me, I guess, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but like this game was way too easy. I always thought to myself, like, what if they made it so that Super Garden was a badge? Like, it would be a very, like, big badge. Like, it would cost, like, maybe six or seven BP. Like, uh, equip this badge to allow Super Garden, right? Like, it just, you, you need to have balance in a game, and having Super Garden just freely, without any cost... Like, BP cost, I never agreed with that. Like, the balance just, it just, it didn't exist. It didn't exist. If it were up to me, I would make this, I would make a dedicated Super Guard badge. I would make it cost 7 BP, because I think that's the most, uh, that's the most BP that badge has ever costed. <clears throat> Correct? I think that was the most BP ever. It, I don't think it ever went to 8. I think the highest was 7. I would make it so that it would cost 7 BP to use Super Guarding. That's just, that's just my opinion. Um, so that, that that's that's why I didn't like Super Guarding. But yeah, th they just need to have some balance here, and I hope they do. Sorry for me being a petty little you-know-what about it. But anyway, um, Goombella's eyes, I love it. Luigi in the crowd in Glitzville. I had that happen to me when I uh, streamed this live. Like, I, I had that happen to me when I live streamed this last, is what I meant to say. God. It's all original designs. Yeah, and I said Poshly Sanctum here. No. It's, that's, that's not what this is. And my brain isn't really working. Uh, what's this place called again? I know the chapter is, uh, or like the, the, the train is the Excess Express. I forget what this place is called. God dang. God dang it. Oh, and there's Cami Koopa. Can't believe it. She's here. Uh, is the portrait in the back different too? I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what is different though. Lunkhead. It used to be Airhead before. I wonder why they changed the text there. I don't know. Like I said, this game is remade. It is being remade, so. It's not just a remaster. It's remade, dude. It's so awesome. Uh, also, right, the... Can I go back here? I know, like, I'm on YouTube, so it's gonna, like, cover some of the stuff, but, uh, tattle check. I wonder what that means. Like, is there... Is there a way to, like, assuming this is what this means, can you check their, their attack, like... 
you know how when you tattle an enemy, it's like, oh, well, you know, their their HP is this, their attack power is this, and their defense is this. Like, could you just press the plus button and and then be like, okay, wait, what's their uh, what's their uh, attack power and their defense again? Like, I totally forget, right? Because when you tattle, it, uh, tattle an enemy, you can see their HP. But on the fly, you can't see what their attack and defense is. Is Tattle Check basically like the later Pokemon games where you could just, like, you could check if, uh... Like, you know how... Oh my gosh. You know how in the later Pokemon games you could just check quickly to see uh, what a Pokemon's... Or, like, what a Pokemon's attack power is or defense is? Like, like say, for example, if someone used uh, Swords Dance, right? Obviously, that stacks if you keep using it. In the later games, you could check that. Like, hey, what's my opponent's uh, stats again from their moves? Is that what Tattle Check is? Because, again, you can see their HP visibly, like, right in front of you at all times if you tattled them. Like, that's with you for the rest of the playthrough. But maybe Tattle Check is one of those things where it's like, wait, what's this enemy's attack and defense again? Maybe that's what that is. Uh, hopefully I explained that right. Again, English is not my strong suit right now, so... Jump, flame, ground pound, mid jump. That's so awesome. X knots. Uh, and they reused the audio. I love it. I guess just like higher fidelity. Um, also, all of the partners are in the the blimp. I don't remember if that was a thing or not. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, come to my brain like I don't believe that was a thing before where all of them would be in this little mini cutscene I think it was just whatever partner you had out at the time just little things like that uh that's a cool animation by the way he gets full on zapped maybe instead of the ch -ch -ch -ch, I don't know maybe they just changed it because of like seizures or something or I don't know like there's no like flickering like that Maybe they did it like this instead because of that. I have no idea. Such a cool new way to do it. Uh, the unique toad designs again, like I said. Um, also, I don't... I don't actually... Wait a second. I'm just noticing this right now. I think some of the prices are different too. I know the Fire Flower and Mr. Softener are the same because the the questionnaire at uh, before you go down to get the Sun and Moonstones, one of the questions was, I think, was how much does a Fire Flower and a Mr. Softener cost? And, and 16 coins was the answer. So I know that's the same. Um, I don't remember if the Mushroom costed four coins. Correct me if I'm wrong. That doesn't look familiar to me. I think that's changed. I'm not sure. It's so good. Oh, yeah, and, like, the noose. Like, they kept the noose, man. Ugh. I wonder if they'll keep the the outline. Like, the murder scene, like, in the back alley. Yeah, like, again, like I said before, like, the, the expressions of the partners. That's, I, I think the eyes are different. I think it's new. Yeah. More of a look at the back sprites. Let's go, dude. Like, look at his arms. Look at like look at his shell. It looks like it's just pasted over his model. It looks so clean, man. Um, anything here? Oh yeah, there's Pennington. And yeah, there's the there's the famous Toad there. Wink, wink. Uh, even ah, there's a text sound for that too for Mario speaking. Even though, okay, moving on. Feel the rock. Uh, can this have the Super Smash Brothers melee reference? I wonder how that's gonna go. I wonder if they'll change it. Like, like, I, I wonder if they'll change that or not. I'm not sure. Cause I, I forget in what region. I, I think it was the PAL region or something. It, it had the Rock Hawk or someone said Super Smash Brothers melee, but in North America it didn't. Can we have that in, or in North America now, please? That'd be cool. Um, yeah, the save block looks a bit different. The heart looks more or less the same, but the save block's different. Ah, more of the back sprite for the partners. And Koops was cut off, I think. 
during this scene too. And so it's, yeah, it's the aspect ratio, man. It's all modernized. Also, I love how this is not called deluxe. I love that so much. I've been talking for a half an hour or more. The floor kind of looks like Lego. Um, apparently in a different region of this game too, speaking of which, like the text, like, like the red was different or something. I don't know the exact specifics, but, um, and yeah, at the end of my reaction, it's like the tech sounds. No, I, I meant text sounds are different, but we were just looking at text. So it sounded like that. Um, and there's peach, there's her d dialogue sound effect. I didn't hate these segments, but I didn't love these segments. Haha, <laughs> get it, love. Uh, hey, will you teach me this thing called love? I'm loving this right now. And yeah, they're keeping the, uh, like, every four years there's a Paper Mario release. So, yeah, because in Sticker Star it was 2012, Color Splash was 2016, Origami King was 2020, and now this is 2024. Um, yeah. So I guess that means brand new Paper Mario game with the traditional style of the first two in 2028. <laughs> That's too long, man. I don't know. Maybe because this is a remake, obviously, you know, it didn't take us much time. So they could be doing two things simultaneously. Who knows? Anything's possible at this point. I'm, I'm willing to bet that there is another Paper Mario game at the works at the same time as this. One remake, one new. Right? Because this obviously wouldn't take as many resources. Um, so now there's other things I wanted to talk about. Um, I guess I'll just go here as just the image. I don't know. But here's what I kind of hope for. I hope that this game doesn't, or like this remake doesn't have any updates. I hope that it's released. There's no updates that need to be coming, you know? Like, back in the day when a game came out, that was it. You didn't have to worry about updates. Just just because, like, if there's any patches or any DLC or anything like that, you always run the risk of that kind of stuff being lost to time because servers go down and shit. You know, uh, stuff like that, right? Um, so I hope there's no updates or patches for this. I hope it's, I hope it's just released and that's it. Take your time with this. Um... I get the feeling that this game is going to be coming out in, like, February or March of, ne of next year. I don't think it's going to be, like, you know, Q3 or whatever. I think this is going to come out in the first quarter of the of next year. I believe so. Um, but if not, take your time. Make this as perfect as you can. So there's no, you know, so not only is that just a good thing to do is to make, th make sure that something's ready before you release it, but in general, just... I don't want there to be patches or DLC. Just release it as is, because that's the one thing I hate about modern gaming. Um, it, it's it, it's a it's it's a it's both a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. It's a double-edged sword. I don't know. Because back then, if you had a game that came out, it's like that's it. If you needed to fix something, you're kind of screwed. So I don't know. It, it depends on what you use it for. You know, you can use it for good or evil. I guess you could say in a way. Because like like say for example with WarioWare, get it together. If you check to this day, at least from the time of this video, I don't see why they would change it now, but for WarioWare Get It Together, there was no update. There was no patch. There, there, was no, there was no software update for WarioWare Get It Together. That's also intelligent systems, so I'm kind of hoping that this is the same thing here. Or no, I am hoping it's the same thing here. Um, also, what would be a good... What would be a good thing here? Yeah, I really hope that there's metal remixes, dude. Origami King was, who was full of like hard rock or metal, man. Origami King soundtrack, no nostalgia goggles here, guys. Origami King soundtrack is my favorite in the series. Let's go, dude. All right, and I hope they do metal remixes. And well, you see where I'm going with this, Rock Hawk. Oh, I would love for there to be a, a metal remix of that. I hope the same composer that was there for Origami King is here too. Holy crap, that would be so good. That would just add so much more to this title. I would love it. You know how I feel about metal. I love metal. It's my favorite genre of music. So, and, and Origami King was pretty much full of it. 
for battles and stuff. So I just, oh my god. If they have that here, let's let's go. Like, I'm, I'm so ready for this. Um, so I think that's it. Yeah, back sprites, battle theme. I talked about that. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, metal remixes. Hopefully there are no updates. Partners upgrading, maybe star points. I, I think I brought that up earlier. I, I believe I did. Um, yeah, I really, really hope that there's metal remixes. But yeah, I don't know how you guys would feel about if partners could get star points too. And then you could pick like different stats for them. I don't know. I, I think that would change a bit too much. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure how you guys would feel about that. Rock him. God damn. Um, and I hope that there's a difficulty option, like a, like a hard difficulty or, or whatever. You could call it paper cut difficulty or something, or I don't know. You could like, you could like create, uh, a name for a difficulty based on the theme. I don't know. I don't want there to just be like a double pain badge and that's it. Like, okay, well, if you want a harder difficulty, just equip the double pain badge. I don't want just more damage. I want there to be like different HP values, different d defensive values, different moves to telegraph it, that are locked behind the exclusive difficulty, like the hard difficulty. Like, you know, I want those things to be exclusively on the harder difficulty, that kind of thing. That's what I would want, not just uh, equip a badge and be done with it. Um, also, uh, how about new badges? How about that? Any cut content that Thousand Year Door had, somehow put it in the game. I don't know. How, like, literally, how about, how about new badges? How about let's add in new badges? And on top of that, like I said in the, uh, in the reaction video, Princess Eclair and the Waffle Kingdom. That could be an actual side mode, dude. You could do that. Super Mario, you know, there's Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Paper Mario of the Thousand Year Door plus uh, Luigi, uh, whatever, I don't know. Waffle Kingdom. That's a thing you could do, right? Because this is being remade. This isn't a remaster, this isn't a port, this is a full on remake. It's a full on remake, dude. So they could do that, man. Anyways, it's been it's been about forty minutes now. Um, I've ranted like too long about this. I'm so sorry. I probably cut some things out, but still, it's like forty minutes. Oh yeah, the uh, the Dugan, that part. I was like, oh, what's it called? What's that species called again? Anyways, I'm ninety nine percent sure I said everything. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. I had to nerd out about this. There was no way. I was obligated to nerd, nerd out about this. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, man. I had to get that out of my system.